WNBA star Caitlin Clark taking the high road after being snubbed from the Team USA Olympic basketball roster. You won't believe what happened when Caitlin Clark got snubbed from the 2024 Olympic team. Instead of sulking, she sent a message to her coach that has everyone talking, they woke a monster. How did this bold move shake up the sports world? And what's next for Clark? How many eyeballs she has brought to the sport. People are discovering women's basketball for the first time it, for, for many, many people because of Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark, the standout guard for the Indiana Fever and former Iowa star, faced a surprising and disappointing setback when she wasn't selected for the 2024 U.S. Olympic team. For those of us who have followed her incredible journey, this news felt like a punch in the gut. Imagine working your whole life towards a dream, only to see it slip away just when you thought you were about to grasp it. I know it's the most competitive team in the world, and I know it could have gone either way. She continues, I'm excited for them. I'm going to be rooting them on to win gold. The selection committee's decision to exclude Clark from the roster for the Paris Olympics raised a lot of eyebrows. Clark has been nothing short of phenomenal on the court. Her scoring ability, court vision, and leadership have made her a household name in the basketball world. Despite her stellar performance, the committee decided to go with a more experienced lineup, featuring veterans like Brianna Stewart, Ed Jao Wilson, Nafisa Collier, Jewel Lloyd, and Chelsea Gray. They picked to be on the team, but I would imagine they leaned on veterans. And while Caitlin has had an incredible season, I don't know if there's going to be a rookie on this roster. The decision, as explained by the committee, was partly influenced by the team dynamics and the need for a balanced roster that could maximize chemistry and experience. They believed that the veteran players would be more suited for the intense competition of the Olympics. While this makes some sense, it doesn't make the exclusion any less painful for Clark and her fans. Honestly, no disappointment. Like, I think it just gives you something, something to work for. Um, you know, that's a dream. You know, hopefully one day I can be there. Clark, however, didn't let the snub keep her down. In a candid text to her coach, Christy Sides, she expressed her frustration and determination. Hey coach, they woke a monster, she wrote. This fiery response quickly became a talking point showcasing her resilience and drive to prove the doubters wrong. Coach Sides shared this message with the media, praising Clark's spirit and implying that this setback might just fuel an even greater performance from her in the future. Um, you know, hopefully in four years, when four years comes back around, you know, I can be there. I'm going to be rooting them on to, to win gold. Um, I, I was a kid that grew up uh, watching the Olympics. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to watch them. The reaction from fans and media was swift and vocal. Dave Portnoy, the outspoken founder of Barstool Sports, didn't hold back his criticism. He called the decision the dumbest thing I've ever heard and questioned the judgment of those in charge. How dumb are these people, he ranted. Never complain about women's salaries ever again. Make that team fly commercial, unreal dumb. Clark's fans echoed similar sentiments flooding social media with support for the young star and questioning the logic behind her exclusion. The outcry highlighted how deeply admired Clark is and how many people believe she deserved a spot on that team. She's going to fall off a cliff if she's not on the team and uh, every single decision can't be about placating the optics around one player. Despite the disappointment, Clark handled the situation with grace in her public comments. She expressed her excitement for the players who made the team and acknowledged the competitive nature of the selection process. I know it's the most competitive team in the world, and I know it could have gone either way, she said. I'm excited for them, going to be rooting them on to win gold. You won't believe what Caitlin Clark did after she found out she wasn't going to be part of the 2024 U.S. Olympic team. Think of it like this. Clark, who's been nothing short of a basketball sensation, gets the news that she's not on the roster. Instead of sulking or throwing a tantrum, she sends her coach, Christy Sides, a text message that's now become legendary. She simply wrote, they woke a monster. When Sides shared this text with the media, it was like dropping a bomb. You could almost hear the collective gasp from everyone who heard it. Sides, who's clearly a huge fan of her star player, couldn't help but admire Clark's attitude. She said, which I thought was awesome when recounting the message. Sides saw it as a sign of Clark's determination and fire, 
a promise that this setback was only going to push her to new heights. And honestly, who wouldn't be inspired by that kind of resolve? That if Caitlin was put on the team but only got a few minutes of playing time, which would be logical for a rookie on a great team that last lost in 1992, best, most dominant team in sports, with U.S. women's basketball team, hasn't lost since 92. If she only got a little playing time, that all of her fans would be upset. The impact of Clark's statement was immediate and widespread. Social media lit up like a Christmas tree. Fans and fellow athletes alike rallied behind her, sharing the phrase, they woke a monster, across platforms. It became a hashtag, a rallying cry, and a symbol of Clark's indomitable spirit. People love an underdog story, and here was one unfolding in real time with one of their favorite athletes. Sports commentators and analysts couldn't stop talking about it either. The statement added a whole new layer to the narrative. It wasn't just about Clark being snubbed, it was about her response to it. Instead of letting it defeat her, she used it as fuel. The sports community took note, and the buzz around her only grew louder. Even beyond the world of basketball, Clark's message resonated. It was a reminder of how setbacks can be turned into powerful motivators. People started drawing parallels to other great athletes who had faced similar disappointments and come back stronger. It was as if Clark's text had tapped into a universal truth about resilience and the human spirit. I think it's more of, uh, it's, it's the, the official announcement has not been made by USA Basketball. So it'd be premature for me to have any conversations about any player or anything uh, until, I, until I see that announcement. Cheryl Reeve is a big name in women's basketball. She's been the head coach of the Minnesota Lynx for years, leading them to several WNBA championships. Her success with the Lynx earned her the role of head coach for the US women's basketball team for the 2024 Olympics. It's a prestigious position, but it also comes with a lot of scrutiny, especially when it comes to picking the team. During the selection process for the Olympic team, Reeve posted a couple of tweets that stirred up quite a controversy. She made some comments that seemed to downplay Caitlin Clark's popularity. In one tweet, Reeve mentioned how the WNBA was more than just one player, using hashtags like hash the whiz more than one player to drive her point home. This happened while the committee was still evaluating players, including Clark, for the Olympic team. Many saw this as a subtle dig at Clark and questioned the appropriateness of such comments during the selection process. The public and media reactions to Reeve's tweets were intense. Fans were quick to defend Clark, accusing Reeve of being biased. Sports analysts weighed in too, debating whether Reeve's comments had any impact on the final decision to exclude Clark from the team. The whole situation became a hot topic, with people questioning the fairness and transparency of the selection process. Reeve declined to comment further, which only fueled the speculation. Following the Olympic snub, Caitlin Clark has continued to shine with the Indiana Fever. Her performances on the court have been nothing short of spectacular. She's been racking up impressive stats and leading her team with the same determination and skill that made her a standout at Iowa. Her popularity has only grown, and she's garnered even more endorsements, proving that the snub hasn't dimmed her star power one bit. Clark's future prospects in professional basketball and the Olympics look very promising. Many believe that this experience will only fuel her ambition and drive her to new heights. She's already a fan favorite and a rising star in the WNBA. With her talent and work ethic, it's only a matter of time before she gets another shot at the Olympics. And when that time comes, you can bet she'll be ready to seize the moment. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.